who in the company makes the executive decision, and if someone disagrees with you, how would you solve it? Well, I make the per I make the executive decisions, but if someone disagrees with me, or if a client attempts a solution and is not effective, then we will come together through using a telephone call or um, holding face-to-face -face meetings, depending on the severity of the issue. Um, but all in all, this process is very honest and very um, open for discussion. So therefore, what I'm saying by this is that all clients and all employees have the right to disagree with my opinion, and I will be very open-minded to um, listen. What's up? Come in tomorrow and we can discuss about it. Okay, sure. All right, see you tomorrow. Bye. Come in. Hi, hey, John. Boss. Hey, Ida. Have a seat. Yeah. On the phone yesterday. Yeah. Um, what's the problem? So, Ada and I kind of disagree. Uh, your proposal about how to teach senior manager to create presentation. All right. So, what do you guys? Um, Recommend. Okay. Just think to uh, teach them how to engage the audience and persuade the audience to agree with. All right. Sure. We'll take a look at it. It is very important for the staffs and the senior executive to have more communications because it is essential due to its effectiveness at problem solving, fostering innovation, improving collaboration, and implementing its solutions. Therefore, communication is the key thing in any relationship because it encourages collaboration and enhances one's problem-solving capabilities. What is your favorite way of communicating with co-workers? This could be like through which communication platform or network, or even formal or informal communication. So please. Okay. Mm. I prefer face to face. Since we are a small size com company, I think it would be more convenient to talk to my staff in this way. I always believe that face to face can not only make our relationship become closer, but also can help us solve the problem in a more direct way. For me, I'm always uh, I'm also a direct person. I really prefer my staff to directly come to me and communicate with me rather than sending emails or using social media. Also, I always provide different feedbacks to them immediately when I check their works. I will directly talk to them which part they did good job and which part they need to do better in the future. And of course, the formal meeting always making in a more formal face-to-face -face situation in my company compared to the other face-to-face -face communication. What are you waiting for? Come to meeting! Let's, let's begin our meeting. Today's agenda the size is... The of the company determines the preferred method of communication. In summary, small companies prefer to use direct and simple forms of communication, like face-to-face, -face, because it improves inter-organizational communication and facilitates the relationship between employees and senior executives. Unlike large businesses, small businesses will experience the luxury of having a chain of command that is less bureaucratic less complex and more flexible. Question number one. What is your favorite way of communicating with your co-workers? This could be like through which communication platforms? My favorite communicating way is to use the WeChat app. And in, actually, we have a WeChat group. And uh, I prefer to use the WeChat group to post something like timetable information daily schedule 
and also I urge my co-workers to do quick response through the app to me. So it's more convenient to them to use the social media to talk to each other. Also, we have an interesting finding. The owner of Red Waters does not really pay attention on the negative feedbacks on social media. However, when customers are not satisfied with the food, the owner and the, the staffs will help them to solve the problem. <laughs> 